Can I touch the dog? I know. Can I touch the dog? How old are all of these things? Oh my god. Wow. This is about 300 years old. 300 years old. Oh my god. This is so beautiful. I love this. They are safe. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this is very nice. This is it's very nice. Mm. So this is a pretty touch on it. So beautiful. This is really so nice. Oh look, there's a fruit tree. My tripod is broken, so I want to show some of the goodies that I got yesterday. This country is amazing. I've fallen in love. Also, these are not my pajamas. It's the hotel's Japanese-style pajamas. They're like cotton, baggy, comfortable. I've got this handmade little vanity bag that language is so unique and this little one they actually were from hey crazy just woke up um i actually bought these from a little spice shop that had a mix of souvenirs and inside is some spice Cotton. Everything here is so delicate and cute and amazing quality. They take so much pride in everything that they that they make and create. So that also I got two of these miso soup. I'm busy having now for breakfast. I know it's not super natural and that's not the healthiest thing, but I'm obsessed miso soups i just bought some to have in my room to sip on i'm so excited to show you. 
pika pika pikachu i got two because my twin sister and i when we were small we were obsessed with pika so i got her one too we had pika bed sheets slippers alarm clock t-shirts uh toys like we had a little alarm clock that was what woke us up every day from school and we'd go pika pika pikachu pika pika pikachu anyways that stuff's in storage somewhere in our stuff in america so i have not had a pika since then i don't know where my little pika toy is and all of those things and my alarm clock so i got my sister and i one because we're obsessed i used to watch pokemon but i wasn't obsessed with the actual show my sister and i were just obsessed with pikachu and i think it's because he looks like a mixture of a dog and a cat <laughs> so we went to the pokemon store in uh, kyoto city it's an actual pokemon store this is where i got them and little holders i don't know you can put money in here little lip gloss and obviously when in japan how can i not get pikachu that's originated from japan I sent it to my sister and I was like, do you want one? I'm getting you one. She's like, oh, yes. I just, I got so cute. Mm. Pika, pika, Pikachu. Enough of being a child. This is the spice. Kuro shishimi. Kuro shichi, shichimi. Black kuro. That's the spice that they gave me. Kuro shishimi. Kuro shishimi. Yes. Don't, don't know how to use it, but I'll Google it. It's actually gifted to me. It's a silk kimono. Super sweet and juicy. <sighs> so good. The hotel uses some of the most beautiful amenities made out of bamboo. I already unwrapped these to use. They are so generous, they topped up. Um, I have so many things I've been using this. They top it off. They provide, what is this? I wanna take a shower and go downstairs to eat some breakfast. They make this delicious rice pancake. Yesterday was my full first day experiencing this amazing country it's very organized it's so clean everything has a purpose the people have so much pride in even the smallest things it's a very very unique country the people definitely make this place special they are kind they are sweet they're compassionate they are very simple but they have elegance in literally everything that they do from the moment they make you a cup of tea or put an item together packaging it for you um, if you watch them taking a walk on the streets and whatever they do they are so delicate and precise and gentle even the people at the airport they were just so very delicate and gentle so it's not just in a consumeristic perspective when you go to the shops to purchase something it's everywhere even the workers on the streets they they're just so they're calm and they're precise and they're respectful and if someone sees that you need help they just are willing to come and help you 
They are such peaceful people. It reminds me a lot of my experience when I was in India. Although India was chaos, in Japan it's organized chaos. It might be busy, might be a lot of people, but it's all organized and it's peaceful. I forgot to show, I also bought a rain jacket. So it's actually from the Japanese brand um, Uniqlo. Uniqlo has become quite popular worldwide. It's so cheap, yeah. So I follow Marie Kondo quite a bit and practicing minimalism and having things in your home that serve purpose and having intention as well as another japanese lady called youtube channel is called nami's life and they just live so peacefully so simple so i've been practicing having beautiful items that i love and i respect rather than an accumulation of junk there are so many souvenirs there's so much shopping here but I'm being very intentional in what I want to buy and what I want to take home. And it's also the culture in this country where people live simply. Being here and seeing in real life how the people live and how they practice simplicity, it's extremely inspiring. So I think that's the most important thing that I've realized in this country is that the people have everything they need for purpose generally speaking i'm sure there are a few shopaholics and hoarders but for the most part everything is with intention and simple and respected <laughs> So simple. Look at the flowers blooming. So precise. Look at that.
will ruin it. Hotel. Yes. It's so cool. It's such a nice little. They teach you how to do this at school. Uh, coaching oh, for okay. the traffic and traffic and field club. Oh, 